Hello everyone. So Lightroom just came out with a brand new update and I want to go through a couple of the biggest changes that that was made. So first of all, they added the super resolution enhanced details to just regular Lightroom. So I'm not in Lightroom Classic, this is just Lightroom. And when you go to the image that you want to double the resolution and enhance details, you can right click and go to enhance right there and it's gonna bring up some options. Enhance is supposed to take the raw file and use artificial intelligence to figure out how to make it, you know, the details better and to double the resolution. So you can make a couple edits right there and if you click super resolution, it's gonna take your image and just double it. And I already did that on this and so this image is a 6240 times 4160 resolution image. I doubled that, I used super resolution and we went here. Now it's a 12,480 by 8,320 resolution photo. So quite a bit bigger. Um, what it does is it creates a DNG file, which you can see right here. And the file size is now gigantic. My original raw file is 26 megabytes. My new uh, super resolution is 333 megabytes. But I have to say that when you zoom in, it does a really good job. The noise is controlled. The noise looks pretty natural and the contrast is not quite there, but this is something that then, uh, you know, I could fix in editing, but to add that resolution and keep a pretty decent amount of detail um, is pretty strong. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So I could go into uh, my settings and of course we could change things. We can increase the contrast real quickly and then I could also increase the texture and that adds in a lot of the details that we're missing. Uh, it looks really good. So the super resolution feature is something that I think is pretty useful and on the images that I've tested it out on has worked pretty well. So that's something to look into. Another thing that Adobe has just added is what they call premium presets. So the premium presets now lies in a new spot. The presets are right here and you click on your presets and they have a bunch of stuff that Adobe has added. So they have cinematic, portraits, um, futuristic, vintage, they have all these right here. Um, and they were they said that they were handmade in a way that I think a lot of people pay for presets, they're giving them for free. Um, and you can just kind of go through and see how these change the photographs. You know, the vintage settings do a lot of color shifting and if you go, for instance, let's just go to travel and let's see what one of them does. And you can see what happens to your settings over here. Um, let's see if we can open up our light panel and you see how the point curve changes. So we have point curve adjustments and then we also have quite a bit of color adjustments when you look at this. And you could check out each one shifts the colors in different ways. Um, this one, for instance, switches it to the black and white mixer and has a preset listing of all the different, uh, you know, reds and oranges, yellows and all that stuff. So it's doing quite a bit. Each one's doing a lot of work to change how your photograph looks and feels. You know, the futuristic one, let's look at that. Um, it's increasing the vibrance. It's, let's see if it changes the, the point curve. Yeah, see how the different point curves right here are changing? So it's kind of fun to play with and to see what those can do for you. I know uh, presets are a big deal. A lot of people like using them. And so maybe one of these can be uh, something that you get into and you think is a, a pretty cool deal. So those are the two major ways that Lightroom has just been updated. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know how I can help in the future.